Animals are always swallowing stuff. It's one of the main things that they're all about. These cheeky little fellas are always gobbling stuff up, but sometimes you'd be very surprised about what they do end up swallowing. These are the weirdest things ever found inside animals. Number 20. Hair Ties when you try to get a cat to eat something and take a medication, they resist. Then they turn around and eat the strangest stuff. When a cat eats a linear foreign body, which is a long, thin object, such as a hair tie or a bundle of hair ties, one part of it might become stuck, frequently at the base of the tongue, the esophagus, or the stomach's entrance, acting as an attachment point. Peristalsis, or the wave-like contraction of the GI tract to drive drive food along until it gets taut, propels the other half along the GI tract. The GI tract beneath the stuck item will placate as the object creeps up the trailing section. The gastrointestinal system gets clogged, and the afflicted tissue might die if placation develops. When the large intestine is injured, excrement can seep into the peritoneal cavity, causing peritonitis, which can be deadly. The extended elastic cut into the intestines, causing life-threatening peritonitis, which is inflammation of the membrane that borders the abdominal wall and covers the abdominal organs, or cutting off blood flow causing tissue death. Always err on the side of caution and consult with your cat's veterinarian or an emergency veterinarian. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. This horrifying footage shows an eel coming out of a fish, and the eel is still alive. It seems like the fish tried to swallow the eel, but didn't do all that good of a job. So as a result, the eel ended up coming back out. Who would have ever expected to find an eel inside a fish? We sure wouldn't have. Not just one of the weirdest things to come out of a fish's guts, but one of the biggest. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 19. High Turtle Swallows Over 900 Good Luck Coins a sea turtle with acute gastrointestinal discomfort had seven hours of surgery to remove 915 coins weighing 5 kilos. They spent seven hours aiding Om Sin, half of which was spent extracting coins, both local and foreign, from its stomach. The surgeons had not expected the surgery on the unfortunate sickly turtle to take so long, that is, until they discovered the enormous currency hoard in its stomach, which needed a wider incision than they planned. Om Sin, tie for a piggy bank, was moved to the faculty last month after hardly swimming at the Royal Thai Navy Sea Turtle Conservation Center in Chonburi's Sadaheep district. The vets were caught aback when the money was discovered during a CT scan at the university. When the local council decided to work on the location and improve the natural surroundings, it transported 26 turtles from a pond in Chonburi's Sri Raka district. The academics will care for the turtle for one week before returning it to the facility for complete recovery. In Thailand, throwing money into a turtle pond is supposed to stave off bad luck. Not for this little guy, though. Number 18. The Dog Who Ate 111 Pennies a 13-year-old Jack Russell Terrier from Manhattan ate 111 pennies without his owner's knowledge, and it took doctors two hours to extract the small copper mine from the 13-year-old dog. To save the dog from a potentially fatal quantity of zinc in his kidneys and liver, doctors at Blue Pearl Veterinary Partners carefully removed the pennies five at a time. After removing a dollar and eleven cents in pennies, owner Tim Keller allowed Dr. Solomon Al-Ghazlat, the international medicine expert who conducted the surgery, to keep the change. 
Since then, Jack has fully recovered from his piggy bank meal. Pennies may appear to be nothing more than innocuous money, but they can induce zinc toxicosis in dogs if consumed. Zinc is released and absorbed into the small intestine as the stomach acid begins to break down the metal of the coin. The zinc is then absorbed into the circulation. High levels of zinc are generally seen in the red blood cells, liver, and kidneys after ingestion of the hazardous substance. Zinc toxicosis can lead to convulsions, shock, multi-organ failure, and even death if not treated promptly. He's like a voracious Tasmanian devil, says Keller. If there's food, he's gotta get it. Number 17. Tiger Shark Regurgitates an Arm and Solves a Crime the shark arm case refers to a series of events that started on April 25, 1935 in Sydney, Australia, when a captive 12-foot tiger shark spit out a human arm, resulting in a murder investigation and trial. In mid-April, a tiger shark was caught two miles off Coogee Beach and transported to the Coogee Aquarium Baths, where it was displayed to the public. After a week of feeling sick, it vomited. In front of a small crowd, the left hand and forearm of a guy with a distinctive tattoo floating in the pool. Before being caught, the tiger shark had devoured a smaller shark. This smaller shark had swallowed the human arm. The arm was identified as that of James Jim Smith, born in England in 1890, a former boxer and small-time crook who had been missing since April 7, 1935, according to fingerprints recovered from the hand. Smith's arm and tattoo were positively recognized by Smith's wife, Gladys Smith, and Smith's brother, Edward Smith. Because he was also a police informant, Smith's lifestyle was high risk. A murder investigation was initiated after it was determined that the limb had been severed with a knife. Authorities were direct to Reginald William Lloyd Holmes, a Sydney businessman, by early inquiries. When the three of them were caught up in a criminal network, Holmes was slain by a man named Francis Brady, who had already killed Smith and given him to the shark for dinner. Number 16. Sydney Morning Herald from Australia Day 1883 Inside Sunfish a museum uncovered an 1883 newspaper clipping within the corpse of a massive sunfish. Researchers uncovered shredded newspaper from the Sydney Morning Herald within the three-meter fish during conservation work on the huge display at the Natural History Museum in London. A ton-plus fish washed ashore on the shores of Sydney Harbour on December 12, 1882, when naturalist Edward Ramsey observed it. According to the Sydney Morning Herald, the amazing creature was still alive when it was winched ashore by a crane, but it was quickly hacked to death by axe-wielding locals. A foreman intervened and had the sunfish's bones sent to the Australian Museum, from where they were finally shipped to London. The sunfish was discovered and characterized as a monster that is of a species heretofore undescribed in the Herald at the time. While attempting to fix the animal, which was beginning to split, the British specialist discovered a later newspaper piece. According to Natural History Museum conservator Lou Ellington Jones, the scientists were delighted to discover a broken chair and a piece of the Sydney Morning Herald inside as they removed the creature's stuffing. Straw and fragments of ancient wooden flooring were also discovered within the fish. The fish was repaired and placed on a new frame to guarantee that it remained in one piece. Number 15. Whole Deer Villagers collecting wood in the adjacent bush couldn't believe their eyes when they came across a massive python in the middle of its meal. With the snake in the middle of eating a baby nogai, Sometimes known as a blue bull, they quickly realized this was no ordinary feast. The horrific footage was shot in India's Gorakhpur. The Nogai is Asia's biggest antelope, measuring up to one and a half meters tall and weighing between 240 and 635 pounds. Unfortunately for this youngster, pythons are capable of killing and swallowing creatures considerably larger than their heads. Non-venomous snakes can grow to be over 30 feet long, 
and are often found in Africa, Nepal, India, Sri Lanka, and China. They grab the victim with their backward curving fangs and bind it, before wrapping a number of coils around it to suffocate it. Their jaws may then split into four directions, allowing them to swallow even the largest animals completely. However, it appears that the python had taken on more than it could handle this time, as it completed the full killing procedure before straining to swallow the carcass. The villagers were able to pry the Nogai corpse's remains from its jaws just as it appeared to spit half of it back out. Number 14. Surprising Discovery Shows Dozens of Mummified Baby Crocodiles while preparing for a new display that would allow visitors to digitally study a crocodile mummy, museum officials in the Netherlands discovered almost 50 crocodiles coiled up together inside. Another scan from the 1990s indicated that the almost 10-foot-long specimen was really two small adolescent crocodiles, not one bigger one. In the previous image, however, there were no more animals visible. The curators were shocked when the advanced 3D scans used for the new display revealed 47 additional juvenile crocodiles, each individually wrapped and mummified alongside the two original animals. The 2,500-year-old specimen was most likely a sacrifice to the crocodile deity Sobek, according to Laura Weiss, a director at the National Museum of Antiquities in Leiden, where the crocodile mummy had been housed since 1828. Weiss pointed out that ancient Egyptians believed in the afterlife, which might explain why crocodiles were killed and mummified as infants and adolescents. Several crocodiles have been mummified in the past as a sacrifice to the gods. After death, one crocodile was mummified and displayed with 20 hatchlings at the British Museum in London in 2015, while two others were studied at the Hearst Museum of Anthropology in California. Number 13. Vets pull spoon out of dog's stomach. What's the first lesson? As the amazing x-ray image reveals, there's a big difference between food and a spoon. Gypsy needed emergency surgery after eating a spoon that her owner, Diane Harmon, had left on the kitchen counter while she went upstairs. The pot in which I kept all the tea bags had been tipped over, so I thought at first she'd eaten a tea bag, said Miss Harmon. It was then I noticed the spoon was missing from the pot. I do get the odd senior moments, but I knew it was in there before. I looked everywhere for it, under the bed, in the dishwashing bowl, outside and in Gypsy's bed. Gypsy seemed fine, but I began to wonder whether she could have swallowed it. Miss Harmon needed to take another of her six dogs to the vet, so she she decided to bring Gypsy along. When veterinarians discovered the spoon in Gypsy's stomach during an x-ray, they rushed the puppy to the hospital for an emergency procedure. The vet joked he'd heard of the saying, born with a silver spoon in their mouth, but not going the other way, said Miss Harmon. Number 12. Cat Swallowed a 5.6 Centimeter Needle when animals, or people for that matter, ingest non-edible substances, gastrointestinal foreign bodies develop. Dogs are particularly prone to ingesting foreign items. Rocks, twigs, toy squeakers, socks, underwear, even tampons have all been ingested by dogs. Cats aren't nearly as stupid as dogs when it comes to eating unusual objects, but earplugs and sewing needles appear to be particularly frequent meals among feline friends. Here's a cat that managed to swallow a large needle. What is it about needles for sewing? Many cats, believe it or not, are drawn to them. Chewing on tiny metallic items appears to be a favorite pastime of theirs. Although cats can swallow needles on their own, needles are most commonly swallowed as a result of playing with sewing thread. The cat was playing with a sewing thread when it started to eat it. A needle was connected to the end, which the woman discovered with horror. The owner watched helplessly and tried hopelessly to intervene as the cat chomped and ate the needle. But we hear she was okay in the end thanks to some amazing cat surgeons. Number 11. Turtles Here's a hungry croc that didn't even bother to chew. He has gobbled down three turtles, making this croc like an Easter egg with turtles instead of a toy inside. If you prefer crocodile meat to chocolate, that is. Crocodiles are ambush predators that wait for fish or land animals to approach before attacking. 
Crocodiles consume a variety of animals, including fish, amphibians, crabs, mollusks, birds, reptiles, and mammals, as well as smaller crocodiles. Crocodile diets vary considerably according on species, size, and age. The diet of crocodiles ranges from fish-eating species like the slender-snouted and freshwater crocodiles, to bigger species like the Nile and saltwater crocodiles that feed on large animals including buffalo, deer, and wild boar. Within the same species, the size and age of an individual have a significant impact on their diet. Young crocodiles eat mostly crustaceans and small fish before progressing to bigger food. Crocodiles, despite their sluggish look, have a lightning-fast strike and are top predators in their habitat, with diverse species fighting and killing other predators, such as sharks and large cats. Crocodile stomachs are the most acidic of any animal. Bones, hooves, and horns are all easy easily digested by them. Number 10. Devil Frog Vomits Up a New Ant Species you might not consider frog vomit to be the most intriguing thing on the planet. For researchers hunting for new ant species, the contents of the amphibian's intestines, on the other hand, are a treasure trove. Scientists identified a new type of ant in the vomit of an Ecuadorian poisonous frog in the most recent of these discoveries. The new ant was discovered in the vomit of the small devil frog, also known as the rana diablito in Spanish. According to researchers, frogs are a fantastic way to identify new insect species since they seek and reach places that humans cannot. Toxic frogs, Ufaga selvatica, are caught in the wild and their guts are flushed out. Then they look for any hints in the vomit that might lead to new discoveries. Researchers from the University of Rochester in New York characterized the ant in a paper published in the open access journal Zookies. Scientists employ ant-eating frogs as a tool to go where they can't because they search for bugs in small, hard-to-reach locations. Capturing a wild frog and flushing its stomachs causes the frogs to vomit whatever is in their guts, revealing possible goodies such as the new ant. Number 9. Vet Removes 444 Bladder Stones from Dog A guy took his dog to the clinic because he had a bladder problem. The veterinarian discovered the worst case of bladder stones he'd ever seen after surgery. He was able to remove 444 stones. Dogs are inherently curious, but their curiosity may occasionally get the better of them. This is especially true for dogs with vacuum cleaner-like jaws who have a proclivity for eating unusual objects. Many dogs as life connoisseurs don't hesitate to try everything from toilet paper to pebbles, shoes to sticks, clothing, and even trash. While many of these items pass through the digestive tract without incident, much to the dismay of dog owners, a dog's voracious thirst for life can occasionally cause issues. Objects that are too large to pass through the digestive tract might create a blockage. If the foreign body has found its way to the colon, it will almost certainly pass. Nevertheless, it may be uncomfortable, especially if it is sharp like a stick. In these circumstances, you may require veterinarian assistance. It's critical to remember to never pull a foreign item protruding from your pet's rectum. Internal tissues may be damaged if the object is still stuck within. Number 8. Howl Inside the Snake Monty, the jungle carpet python, may have been doomed when he became hungry in between meals and decided to eat a whole beach towel. After being posted online, video of veterinarian Dr. Olivia Clark and her team extracting it from Monty's stomach went viral. According to a Facebook post from the hospital, Monty's owners brought the snake in after observing it having a late-night feast. Anesthesia was administered to the snake, and a radiograph was done to confirm that the towel was still lodged within its abdomen. They then put an endoscopic camera down Monty's throat and used forceps to carefully grasp the towel's tip. The endoscopic camera records the moment the tiny claw actually grabs the towel within the snake's guts. The towel looked to be covered in a thick layer of ooze. As shown on film, one vet keeps the snake's mouth open as the other carefully removes the tip of the towel from the snake's mouth. After putting down the forceps, the second vet begins a one-sided tug-of-war with the towel. The vet then presented the full-sized towel for the camera. It was smiles all around, and we're happy to report that both Monty and the beach towel have lived to see another day.
Monty is believed to be doing great at the moment. Number 7. Ancient Spears Found in Fish Men and women have toyed with the idea of mermaids for ages. Some people are so certain that they are genuine that they claim to have seen them with their own eyes. Many people are aware, however, that the water may be deceiving, especially when traveling by boat for a few weeks or months, like fishermen and pirates did in the past. While no tangible proof has ever been discovered showing that mermaids exist, there have been certain finds that have caused even the most skeptics to question their existence. Strange spears have been discovered within deep-sea fish by fishermen all around the world, some of which have been photographed and made public. It's no surprise that many people think think mermaids live in remote parts of the ocean because these spears aren't man-made. Mermaids are aquatic creatures, having the head and upper body of a female human and the tail of a fish, according to legend. Mermaids may have been found in mythology from all across the world, including Europe, Asia, and Africa. Out of guilt for inadvertently murdering her human lover, the goddess Adar Goddess turned herself into a mermaid in ancient Assyria. Mermaids have been linked to dangerous events including floods, storms, shipwrecks, and drownings. Number 6. Parasite Crawls Out of Fish's Mouth the tongue-eating louse, Simothoa exigua, is a parasitic isopod belonging to the Simothoidae family. It enters fish through the gills with the female adhering to the tongue and the male attaching beneath and behind the female on the gill arches. C. exigua severs the blood vessels in the fish's tongue with the front claws, causing the tongue to atrophy due to a lack of blood. The parasite then attaches its own body to the muscles of the tongue stub, thereby replacing the fish's tongue. The parasite does not appear to harm the host fish in any other way, C. exigua are now thought to be harmless to humans, save that they will bite if separated from their host and handled. C. exigua was the focus of a lawsuit filed in Puerto Rico against a big grocery chain. Snappers from the eastern Pacific with the isopod C. exigua are exported all over the world for commercial consumption. The plaintiff claimed that he was poisoned after eating an isopod cooked within a snapper. The lawsuit was dismissed, however, because isopods are not toxic to humans and are even eaten as part of a normal diet. Still, they are pretty gross. Number 5. 19 Baby Pacifiers in Dog's Stomach when a family took their bulldog to a Massachusetts veterinary hospital after he'd stopped eating, they were taken aback. The dog's stomach contained 19 baby pacifiers, according to the Angel Animal Medical Center. It all began when the Wellesley family observed Mortimer, their three-year-old dog, become sick before meals. Emily Shannon, Mortimer's owner, took him to the vet who recommended medication to treat the problem. However, it was ineffective, and Mortimer finally stopped eating. Shannon proceeded to Angel, where the pacifiers were discovered during an x-ray. Mortimer, according to the vets, had been stealing pacifiers from Shannon's two children for months. Mortimer has totally healed and is back at home after the pacifiers were removed without surgery. Number 4. 45 pounds of plastic removed from bull stomach in India. This is a sick street bull who has spent his entire life eating trash. These guys were well aware that his stomach was stuffed with plastic and that he required immediate surgery. More than 40 pounds of plastic and rubbish had accumulated in his stomach over time, and veterinarians surgically removed it. Cows are revered in the historically agricultural Vedic Hindu civilization because it is wrong to injure an animal whose milk humans ingest after weaning off the mother's milk. Cooking veal with cow's milk has a comparable moral connotation in Jewish tradition. Cattle are revered in many faiths across the world, including Hinduism, Jainism, Buddhism, and others. Cattle also play important roles in several ancient faiths, including those of ancient Egypt, Greece, Israel, Rome, and Germany. Cattle slaughter is forbidden in some areas, particularly in India's northern states, and eating their flesh may be considered taboo. Modern cattle, on the other hand, are being harmed by the massive quantity of plastic garbage created by people. While India's plastic trash problem is not as severe as that of the developed countries, it is on the rise. Richer states, such as Goa and Delhi, generate up to 60 grams and 37 grams of plastic per capita per day respectively, compared to an average of 8 
8 grams per capita per day across the country. Following Prime Minister Narendra Modi's call for an end to single-use plastics in India, the government responded quickly and declared that single-use plastics will be phased out by 2022. However, it has now reneged on that commitment, claiming that a ban would be too disruptive to business and the economy. Number 3. Two-Month-Old Puppy Here's the time a wild python spewed a two-month-old puppy, and this shocking footage was captured. On November morning, the serpent pounced on the small dog as she scampered about the yard at the residence in Cha Chowing Sao, Thailand. It devoured the helpless puppy named Love Love, then slithered away to digest its meal behind a pile of wooden boxes. Pung Si Parapitak, the owner, claimed she went out to feed her two pet puppies, but just one came rushing over. She then discovered the terrifying revelation that pythons may be deadly to both pets and humans. In Canada back in 2013, a python that escaped from a pet store slithered down ventilation ducts and descended through the ceiling of the room where two boys were sleeping and killed two young brothers aged 5 and 7. The African rock python, which weighed 100 pounds, was housed at a pet store on the first floor of a building in Camp Belton, New Brunswick, Canada. Noah and Connor Barth siblings were staying in the building for a sleepover one floor up. A local veterinarian killed the 14-foot-long python responsible for killing the two Canadian youngsters. After descending from a ceiling vent, the snake was likely terrified and wrapped itself around the sleeping youngsters, according to experts. Number 2. Plastic Straw Removed from Sea Turtle's Nostril Christine Figner, a marine scientist, says she had no clue how much her video of her team extracting a plastic straw trapped in a sea turtle's nostril in August 2015 would go viral. She also had no idea that the film would help catalyze a wider effort to ban plastic straws from our daily lives, which now includes corporations like Starbucks and American Airlines. The surge of corporate plastic straw bans comes after Seattle became the first major U.S. city to do so last week, as public awareness of the environmental effect of single-use plastic products like straws, cups, and cutlery grows. And as people become more mindful of their plastic consumption and desire to be more involved in environmental protection, Figner's film, which has almost 31 million views on YouTube, continues to be part of the debate. Figner, in a manner, has given the anti plastic movement a face, although a reptile one. Figner says she doesn't want to claim that one video did it all, but she does acknowledge that it's a useful tool for environmental activists and lobbyists to use at presentations to generate sympathy. Number 1. Whale found on beach with 88 pounds of plastic inside its stomach. A call came in from the local maritime agency to the keepers of a natural history museum in Davao City, Philippines. An emaciated whale in the Davao Gulf was spewing blood and listing heavily as it swam, indicating that it was likely to die soon. When Daryl Blatchley, a marine mammal specialist and curator of Davao City's De Bone Collector Museum, returned to the lab to do a necropsy on the whale, he discovered something shocking. More than 88 pounds of plastic trash wedged inside its gut. He replied, plastic was just bursting out of its stomach, he said. We pulled out the first bag, then the second. By the time we hit 16 rice sacks, on top of the plastic bags and snack bags, and big tangles of nylon ropes, you're like, seriously? By the time we get to 16 rice sacks, on top of the plastic bags, snack bags, and enormous tangles of nylon ropes. Dad, how did it even live this long, said his son, who was present during the necropsy. He described the plastic plastic rubbish in the dead whale's stomach, as hard and compressed as a baseball. Only much larger, more like two thick basketballs of junk, accounting for roughly 8% of the young beaked whale's entire weight. It had been in the stomach for so long that some of it had started to calcify. The younger beaked whale, a young male approximately 15 feet long and weighing 1,100 pounds, died of hunger and dehydration as a result of the plastic in its stomach. For days 
days, there was no evidence that any food had made it into the whale's intestines, as whales absorb water from the food they eat. Its body was killing itself from the inside out. Its stomach acid had worn holes in its stomach lining, instead of breaking down the plastic debris. Which of these crazy discoveries shocked you the most? Did you ever have to stop your pet eating something weird? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!